Hey YouTube, you're Rock 27 coming at you on uh, today's Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy sneak peek. Uh, what deck are you playing? Uh, Rabbitless Noble Knights. Rabbitless Noble Knights, okay, we'll get into this. Um, most of them you see nowadays are running rabbits. I don't like rabbits, they become dead draws. Um, How did that happen? That does pretty good, it's pretty consistent. I'll get into it and show you. Run three, don't let them drop, main engine of the deck. You, he's a normal when he's on the field, and when he's equipped, he gains an effect, he gains a level, turns dark, and once per turn, you can summon one Noble Light monster from your deck to the field in defense, and then you pop your equip card that goes to him, and all the Noble Arms cards are kind of dumb, so they do some after the fact. I'll explain that a little later. And, uh, three, three Gawain. Gawain is really good. Since all the noble, all the monsters that you have on the field, other than Gwen, are normal pretty much, he gets a special one from the hand, and uh, it makes you spamming out the four exceeds. It's crazy. The new guy, the Vulture Vod, he's a 1500 attack, 18 defense, normal light monster, and he says he's a normal monster when he's on the field. When you equip him with a noble arms card, he lets you add one, one noble, noble monster from the graveyard to the hand. So that you get your no knights you want back. Most of the time you get back Gwen or you get back on the draw. Um, I run two or targets instead of three. Since I don't run rabbits, I don't really have to have three. And there's most of the time that's just used for like quick spam out for like Wayne's or give back my no eat no one knife. And uh run two photon thrashers really quick to get out on the field. You know, they're really big, beefy, beat up big stuff. And uh, also help with the, with the little rank fork seeds also. Two, uh, two Gen X out, Burn Van, and uh, they're really good. We're gonna do run some some synchro monsters in the, in the, in the, in the deck, so it makes those really easy. Plus, I can make a, a rank three rank three seed if I have to, and they're also dark. Two effect Valor. Baylor's awesome, stops stuff from happening, and, and it kind of gives you a little more control since this deck isn't really a fast, fast deck, but it just has a lot of power. Wayne Noble Knight, he's pretty good. He's kind of sucky when you draw him, because he's a five, but um, he's not too hard to get out of your hand, though, because any normal, any normal monsters you got on the field, pretty much special summons him right off the bat. So, and plus, he gets special summons from the graveyard, too, so his effect's pretty good. He, gets, he also searches. This guy searches Noble Arms pretty fast. One Gorse, because Gorse just stops so TKs. One bit less, since you run, I run two darks and most of the lights. Why not? But he's a warrior. All the quits work on him, too. And uh, one honest, since I have so much light stuff floating around. One honest. Two Lance, I like Lance, because with Lance, it's really good because you get to make plays and you want them to go through, so when they drop a draw on the field, you want to stay with One MST, I run our few to tear in the deck, and it pops all kinds of face down, so all I need is one. Of course, you got your Warrior Staples, you got Monster Born, I run a Rota, one Book of Moon, one Heavy Storm. Pot of Avarice and the Dark Hole. And the equip cards, this is a new guy. This thing is kind of dumb. Any warrior you hook it to doesn't die once per turn. And if this is destroyed, like all the rest of the Noble Arms cards, they come back from the grave and you equip to a Noble Knight on the field. Two Arc Fitted Tear, probably the best one we have because it pops face down monsters and face down spelling traps. It really gets show stuff that's in the way, out of the way. There's your Noble Orange Axis of Despair, so to speak. Galloping gives monsters 1,000. Each standby phase that the monster loses 200 attack, but I rarely have one on the field long enough to make a difference in that. And I run one Caliburn because I don't really look at gaining the life points a lot. It's mostly just to sort of have the access to that extra equip. Two, two bottomless because bottomless is bottomless, and why not? One torrential because I usually have field presence, I don't want to blow it up, so one's really all I ever need. Same thing, mirror force. Most of them I'm beating over stuff instead of taking a bunch of attacks, one mirror force is all I gotta have. 
and I got the solid like duo. The extra deck, I got, I run one Noble King. He's very good. He blows up all kinds of at-row stuff. This thing is broke. <laughs> Pilot Dynamo is just broke. If they get to a person, which any big monster they throw on, on you, you probably should get rid of it. Because it, it negates the effect forever, and it makes it zero forever, unless it's on the field. Unless it flips down. That's a nice sword. Run the one-shot master, because if you can, why not? One ropes because he's just getting really good since he's a Kone Dragon jumping out of nowhere. Mist Dweller, Gandiva. Wind ups are still cards and they still run around, so you gotta stop them. Maestro, uh, Hero Champion Excalibur. One Blade Armor Ninja. I can't make fives. This is my preferred five to make. Now I got Shakiris. When they get used up, I can lay this over them for nothing. And the two sinkers I run are these two guys. Uh, this is a warrior. Works a lot like Okeon. If kills a monster, they can't, your opponent can't summon level five monster or higher. And this guy makes it just go says, go get your, your equip cards. Uh, so how do you think about what do you think about the deck? It's awesome. I love it. Um, it's really toolbox based. It really has a lot of control if you play it right. Um, so far, I haven't found any that I can't just beat over or get around some way. The stuff I have in the extra deck, it's, just, you know, it's it's pretty pretty consistent. Um, I don't. Like I said I don't like running the rabbits, and for me, this is a better build because it's just you know I don't depend on having to go rabbit and take a chance on them having a bomber trap. Okay, thank you for the deck profile. Yeah.